good afternoon from Chicago. Oh my God, I just woke up from the best nap. I think it was like an hour nap, but I needed that power nap because I spent all morning editing and on the phone with scheduling because I was trying to get them to give me a trip that was in open time with one of my friends, but they actually end up giving your girl airport standbys. So I'll be heading out to the airport in about an hour and 30 or whatever. So I'm going to um, probably when I go to the airport, I'll either take a nap if it's not on, if a trip is not on my board when I get there, or I'm going to um, continue editing the next vlog that I have to post for you guys. But I'm going to get dressed and I'll definitely see you guys when I'm in the car heading to the airport. Like I said it on my hand today. Like a bird gonna pick out of there somewhere. That's how you should have worn your hair for so we could have had the gold egg in your hair. <laughs> So I'm heading to the airport. I do not know where I'm going. I hope that I get a trip because I just like to get a trip. I hate getting dressed going to the airport just to come home. So I do hope that I get a trip. Um, I checked open time. There was nothing there, but that can change in a split second. I am going to again go to the airport and edit. I brought my computer, but it makes my bag so heavy. So I bought like another bag, but my laptop doesn't even fit in it. So I have to continue to stow it in my luggage. And it's so heavy. Like I think I have the world's heaviest carry on luggage. Like it's ridiculous. And then it's have to lift that like often because you know we change planes all the time. So that's not the smartest thing I've done. We are heading to the airport and I'll be there soon and I'll see you guys when I get there. So I have made it to the airport and I am definitely ready for the airport standby. Got my computer set up, bag sitting here, slippers on, and I'm just waiting on the phone call that I'm going to edit video. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm ready for airport standby. So we have good news and we have bad news. Which one y'all want to hear first? So, the good news is, I got a trip, and the trip that I got is not bad. However, the bad news is, it's four hours away from now. So it's kind of like, dang, I'm already at the airport. I wish I could just like, go somewhere now, but the report time is in like a few hours. But, on the brighter side, that's fine because I have time to edit my videos and get them set up so that I can post them on Sunday tomorrow. So I'm happy about that. But it's fine. The trip is um, a dead head to Baltimore. And then I go from Baltimore to someplace. I don't even know. I don't even know this code. Like, I don't think I've ever been here. I think it's Portland. But I could be wrong. Okay, so it is Portland. Wow, I don't think I've had a port on overnight in so long, but I, again, I did head from Chicago to Baltimore. I think, actually, this is a Baltimore trip, but I go from Chicago to Baltimore, Baltimore to Portland, pizza cake. Hopefully it doesn't change. I have 18 hours in Portland, and then tomorrow I do Portland back to Baltimore, and then Baltimore to New Orleans. And then I have 13 hours there, and then I go from New Orleans to Houston, and then I did it from Houston to Chicago on the last day. And I get back pretty early, so this is the trip that I actually get to keep. I'm super stoked about that. It's not really trip tripping, but I just hate how it starts like for a long time from now. And then it's a deadhead, so I'm gonna be sleepy on that deadhead and then still have to work the flight after that. I want to be three day, I got a three day. Okay. Yeah, Portland. I'm excited to go to Portland. I don't think I've had a Portland overnight since I've started filming or vlogging. Reserve can really change in a hot second. I am now overnighted in Baltimore for 22 hours because I misconnected in Chicago, or I missed my connection here in um, Baltimore. I'm supposed to go from Chicago to Baltimore, and then Baltimore to Maine, but I missed the connection, so they ended up just overnighting me here, and I have like, Tons, tons of time here. Um, but my airport shuttle is here, so I'll have to see you guys when I get to the hotel. Y'all, why was today the easiest, hardest day ever? 
like what on earth what happened like why was today like it was i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what i'm talking about but let me find my room it looks like i'm all the way at the end of the hallway and someone warmed up their lunch because i can smell it and it stinks okay i feel like i'm getting sick i'm gonna take an emergency before i go to sleep hotel is very deceiving because i thought it was going to be like an upscale hotel well not upscale but like a more of a um a newer hotel based off on how the lobby looks but then when you get up to the rooms it's kind of like meh so yeah anyways i wanted to tell you guys what happened today so i'm gonna prop you up while i am um changing into my pajamas and i'll let you know what happened today was crazy This cookie is so good. Perfect. I got here right in time to watch Cardi B on Saturday Night Live. All right, let me tell y'all. Let me do some water. So last night, before I went to bed, I checked the list for reserve. Today is Saturday and it started my three days of reserve. So I'll be on reserve from Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So again, last night I checked the list. I was number 22 on the list. And the way you're granted a number is based off in your, how much you've worked the month and your seniority. So because, um, because of my seniority and the fact that I worked earlier this week, I was able to be number 22 out of 36 people on the list. So that's the number that I was before I went to bed. Went to bed, I woke up and I was number four. At 7 a.m. I was number four on the list. So that to me, it just says that, you know, something happened in different bases where they just need these flight attendants from our base to cover, you know, flight attendants in other bases and they, flight attendants were at a high demand. Like people were either calling out sick or, um, well, people just were calling out. So they needed flight attendants. So I was number four. And the crazy part is I stayed number four until like 11 a.m. until they finally gave me um, airport standby. And prior to getting airport standby, I had called to see if I can get a trip that was already in open time because I saw that my friend was on the trip. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty sweet trip. And my friend is on it, so why not, you know, go for it and get that trip? I called. She wasn't able to do it um, unless I was number one on the list. So um, that was fine. I understood. Got off the phone. Um, and then I had got airport standby. So I acknowledged the airport standby, and um, I guess I headed to the airport. And after being at the airport for, I believe, an hour, um, they posted a trip on my board. And the original trip, I'm going to get you guys the original trip. So the original trip that was posted on my board, um, I basically set airport standby for four hours, decorating the lounge <laughs> with my presence. And um, I didn't have to check in because my airport standby was at three and I didn't have to report until about six. I was deadheading to Baltimore and then from Baltimore, I was gonna work a flight um, from Baltimore to Portland, Maine. And I had like 17 hours in Maine, right? So it was fine, like I, I didn't care about even, I didn't mind waiting in the lounge because I was editing video and I also just didn't mind because three hours, I mean, it wasn't that bad and plus it was a deadhead and then a deadhead after the deadhead i was going to work a flight and the flight i think was like an hour and a half um all in my seat on my deadhead and we're like pushed back from the gate and we're um like i'm hearing the flight attendants like call each other like back and forth and i'm wondering like you know what is going on so me you know being a flight attendant like i know like they're calling each other back and forth we're not moving like something is going on like what's happening and we had to go back to the gate so going back to the gate, like everyone got off the plane and then they had to put everybody back on the plane. So because of that, I was misconnecting 
going to like when I finally got to Baltimore like I would have missed the flight that I was going to take from the flight that I was going to work from Baltimore to Maine because I think I only had like originally I only had 43 minutes on the ground but like my board was showing like negative 20 minutes so there was no way I was going to make that flight right like what is scheduling going to do with me so in the entire time I'm thinking like you know I know what they could do and what will be best for them to do but for some reason <laughs> they don't it doesn't work out that way it just never works out that way they know I don't I don't know what the deal is with that the decisions that um scheduling makes for us aren't the best but this one actually worked out in my favor i actually ended up having to work the flight from chicago to baltimore instead of deadheading on that flight because the flight attendant the b flight attendant got off for some reason something about she would have missed her deadhead back home to chicago or something like that but i ended up working the flight from chicago to baltimore and i'm overnighted in baltimore for like 22 hours because the good part about tomorrow is that we went from we went from Maine back to Baltimore. So I'm actually able to catch up to my trip because I am in Baltimore. So instead of working two flights tomorrow, because our flights tomorrow would have been from Maine to Baltimore and then Baltimore to New Orleans. But because I never made it to Maine and I'm still in Baltimore, I'm just going to pick up the Baltimore to New Orleans flight. Yeah, are you guys following? It's a lie. You want to be flight attendants. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot to pick up. But today I only worked one leg. Tomorrow I only work one leg. Hope, hopefully it doesn't change. And then the next day I go from New Orleans to Houston and then I deadhead from Houston to Chicago. So that might change. Tomorrow might change. I don't know. But as of now, 22 hours in Baltimore is going to stay the same and I'm definitely happy about that. So I'm going to try to get out tomorrow. Like I have 22 hours. Tomorrow is Sunday so I'm going to... I need to go to brunch. I haven't had brunch all week, so I want to go to brunch, find a cute little brunch sp uh, spot to go to. I'm going to actually look that up on my phone while I watch Saturday Night Live, which is on. So I'm going to watch Saturday Night Live. I'm going to take some emergency because people were like coughing all on the plane. I don't want to, um, I don't want those germs to get into me. So I'm just going to take some emergency to flush all of that out. I'm going to put on my pajamas. I just ate my cookie. And I should be good for the rest of the night. I just wanted to tell you guys that. And I hope you guys followed along because I tried to be as clear as possible. But flight attendant talk is like the worst to like try to explain. Especially from someone, like especially from the outside looking in. Like you guys, it's kind of so confusing and it's only so much I can say. But I try to do my best to explain to you guys the life we live and what we go through. So in a way, like my day was like long. Only because of like everything that happened, but like actually what I did, like I didn't really do anything today but work one flight and it was like an hour and 30. It was like 90 people on the flight, so it wasn't hard at all. It was just like, it was just exhausting because everything was just like not taking off. Like everything was just, like everything was happening from like, you know, the incident to just like waiting around for me then going from deadheader to like actually working the flight. It was just too much. But on that note, I'm going to put my pajamas and I think I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to finish watching TV and take some emergency. I'm actually headed to Baltimore Inner Harbor and the only thing that I don't like about being outside of town like I love sightseeing but the simple fact that I don't know where I'm going because I'm not from here or I've never been here is kind of just like a little intimidating but I do not mind asking people for directions people are so friendly and they're always wanting to help so what I would recommend for you guys if you're in a city and you don't know where you're going like just ask for help ask for directions it does not hurt because GPS always messes me up when I'm on foot so I don't even bother with it but I'm just like real vocal when I tell people that majority of the times they know that you're not from here but I'm just vocal I'm like you know how do you get to XYZ and you know they tell me so 
that's a positive but like I told you guys I have 22 hours in Baltimore I wanted to get out and I wanted to see what Baltimore was all about so they recommended the um, beautiful Baltimore Inner Harbor so that's where I'm headed I was just on the train I took the train actually I took from my hotel I took the shuttle back to the airport to then take a train and then I have to walk I think like three or four blocks to the harbor but I'm going to the harbor to see what's up and to get a bite to eat because I am hungry but I'm gonna take you guys along with me so stay tuned to the harbor it's actually really windy out here but you guys know I'm from the windy city so it's not a big deal but my hair is like flying from the left and the right just hope it stays on tight but anyway I just wanted to double check with someone so I asked them is this the Baltimore Inner Harbor she was like yeah it's a little cold out here I'm like girlfriend I'm from Chicago it's cool but I feel like this is similar to um, our Navy Pier That's what I'm gonna compare this to, but it's so beautiful out here. Let me show you. I can totally eat noodles and company, but normally when I'm out of town, I like to eat at places that they don't have, like where I'm from. They definitely have a noodles and company. So I'm going to keep walking until I run into something new. Thank you, sorry. Until I run into something that I have not had before. So let's see. It's really nice out here. I don't know why people are complaining about the cold. It's like so, it feels so good. From Chicago, this is like springtime. All right, what is going on here? this out. This box weighs about 50 pounds. No, it don't. something to eat before anything because I am hungry yeah they don't have like a lot of food options around here well, well I guess they do but it's not anywhere that I want to eat per se 
So they have a Dick's Last Resort. I'm done with them, obviously. Because remember what happened in Minnesota. You know what I said? I wanted Chipotle. Should I get Chipotle? I'm just gonna like come all the way out here to get Chipotle. It's kind of like, why? You know, I wanted to try something like unique to the harbor or to Baltimore. I don't know. Look at her. Thank you. Really don't know what I want to eat. Oh, we have more restaurants. What is this? Got a Ruth Chris over there. McCormick and Schmitz. But don't want to go there. This is the aquarium right here. I don't know what I want to eat. I kind of want something quick and simple. But I feel like because I'm out here, I gotta be all extravagant and all fancy and whatnot. I need to find somebody to take a really cute picture of me because the lighting out here is A1. Okay, so there was nothing here that really seemed appetizing. So I'm like, forget it. I'll just eat a burger and a fry, per usual, but I meant Johnny Rockets. Like, I don't know, I expected a lot more, um, like, quick food and restaurant options down here at the harbor, but it wasn't that much to choose from. And plus, everything had, like, a 20 to 30 minute wait. Didn't want to wait that long. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, because I didn't want to wait that long, I am here at Johnny Rockets, and I think I'm just going to get a shake, burger, and a fry. The yeah, pickles. I, re I remember it. It's too. okay, and a little. I got ketchup. Um, yeah, so just pickle. That's all I need, and maybe mustard. Sure. Thank you so much. So I got a chicken sandwich, French fry, and a vanilla shake. Yummy. Still out here, and I actually needed to stop in CVS because it was right there and pick up a um, couple of feminine products. So. I'm in there and I'm looking at all the signs and it's like 50% off this, 50% off that. So before, you know, I, I brought everything up to the register that I wanted to um, purchase and see what I could get for 50% off. So I'm up there and um, come to find out like you have to use your CVS card in order to get 50% off. Don't have a CVS card, but the guy in front of me was like, hey, you can use my number. So I'm like, okay, cool. I use this number. I don't know why this lady was making it easy hard. But she's asking me, she was like, okay, so how much is the Mida all supposed to be? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. She's like, okay, so what's half of this? And I'm like, don't the computer tell you? Like, once you ring everything up, shouldn't like, shouldn't it like at the end tell you like what the 50% off is? She was basically making me do the math, but she ended up only ringing up one of the items that was just like, forget it, because she was tired and ready to go home. So I ended up spinning. Should have spent $15, but I spent $4, so I definitely saved today. But my thing is, she was asking me how much it was supposed to be. So I went back there and I showed her, like, you know, the 50% off sign. And she was like, okay, cool. So we went back up to the front. Like, she was literally saying, okay, so what's 50% off of this? What is this supposed to mean? I'm thinking to myself, like, doesn't the computer show you that? It was just so weird. But she looked like she didn't know what she was doing. I clearly didn't know what I was doing. So I was like, forget it. And she just ended up charging me like four bucks. Ain't God good, ain't he good. I thought Converse were walking shoes, but I've literally been walking all day and my feet are killing me. Lord, just let me get to this train so I can sit down. I still gotta walk like three more blocks. Oh goodness gracious, pray for me y'all because honey, I'm about to pass out because my feet are in shambles. The train is supposed to come in 20 minutes. Yeah, like 20 minutes. And I guess that's a good enough time. So if it comes in 20 minutes and it takes 
takes, I think, 20 minutes to get there. Then, I don't know, I should be back before six. I should definitely be back before six because I gave myself an hour to get back. Which is perfectly fine. Again, I'm already dressed. I just need to put on my uniform. I wanted to, uh, actually left a video posting so it should be uploaded to YouTube and I'll just publish it when I get there and then just zip my suitcase and head to the airport but today was fun today was so much fun too bad I don't get Baltimore overnights like more often only because Baltimore for us is a base so it's really no reason for us to overnight unless it's unscheduled I'm so happy that I took the light rail because round trip was like four bucks and I was gonna take an Uber down here the Uber was $20 each way so I saved myself a lot of coin getting on the light rail I love saving money so I made it back to the hotel and I totally made a rookie mistake so because I've been here for so long I knew that my hotel key was not gonna be working but I'm like you know what I should be fine. Get to the door and guess what? It doesn't work. So now I have to go all the way back down the stairs and get a working key because my key no longer works. <sighs> I was so close. But I did get back at a reasonable time so I might even be able to take a nap but I definitely can upload the video. Okay, so I'm all dressed and I'm waiting on my shuttle to the airport. And I just wanted to check in with you guys because scheduling sure knows how to make my day a lot better. Okay, so I'm no longer going to New Orleans for 13 hours. I'm now going to Austin, Texas for 10 hours, which is close to reduced crew rest. Um, but it's just enough for them to give it to me, to, for them to legally give it to me. How awesome is that? But okay, so tomorrow my report time is 10, 10 a.m. I deadhead from Austin to New Orleans to then work um, a New Orleans to Houston flight. And then I guess I'm catching up on my trip again. And I deadhead from Houston to Chicago. I'm gonna pray to God that my schedule does not change again because I do not want it to. But it's so funny though, you'll get comfortable with what your schedule is in reserve and then boom, they change it. So that's why I try never to get comfortable with it. I'll see it and be like, okay, this is what they're gonna give me, but they'll probably change it. Like I never get comfortable with deadheads and I never get comfortable with um, overnights because stuff can change in, like in a split second. So we finally made it on board. Um, we are about to board up the passengers and get out of here. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm now going to Austin instead of New Orleans. My overnight is super short, so I'll get in, be able to sleep for a couple of minutes, and then get up, turn it back around, and everything's like delayed. So we were at the A gates, we had to walk to the C gates. We're an hour delayed, and um, we're scheduled to get in at like midnight or a little after midnight, but I will, of course, take you guys along with me. I'll either see you in flight or I'll see you when I get to Austin. All right, you guys, I've made it to Austin. I am on reduced crew rest, which means I only have like nine hours here because um, I have to report like early tomorrow. I'll explain more in depth um, how that happened, why that happened, and what that means. But I am going to give you guys a quick room tour and um, that's about it for the night because your girl needs to get some sleep because I have to be up in like literally literally a couple of hours so i'm going to show you my room and go to bed so walk in bathroom closet battery's gonna die and then there's so much space here so much space but i'm going to get in that bed go to sleep and i'll see you guys in a couple of hours omg good morning from austin doesn't it feel like i just saw you guys that's because I did. Oh my goodness. It is, I want to say it's 9.45 and literally got home and had to turn around and come right back up here to work. But my schedule today is deadhead to New Orleans, 
work New Orleans to Houston and then deadhead to um, from Houston home to Chicago. So I should be in around 4.30, 5 o'clock ish. So I ran all the way to the gate only to be told that we are an hour delayed. It's always fun, always fun. That was my first and last time to run into a gate. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to Chicago. They said we're ready to go. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. So I'm heading to Chicago and I'll see you guys when I get there. time for you guys to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye also you know what i need you to make sure even if you are subscribed or have already subscribed double check to make sure you're still subscribed because i don't know again youtube is like their whole algorithm on whether or not they're notifying people about like my uploads and um also um like unsubscribing people so let me know if you guys are getting the notifications that i'm posting and also double check to make sure you're subscribed so um again i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye Four yellow oxygen masks will jump from the overhead compartments. To activate the flow of oxygen, pull down the plastic tubing until it is fully extended. Place that mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Secure with elastic strap. Although the oxygen will be flowing, the plastic bag may not inflate. So continue wearing that oxygen mask until otherwise notified by a crew member.